So the rest of the chapter, we're gonna take a last bit of look at, in particular, sound waves and how we as people perceive sound and how that interacts with the characteristic of the waves itself. So when we talk about sound, there's two principal kind of quality that we talk about. There's the tone or the pitch of the sound. You can have a sound that's high pitch or a sound that's low pitch. And the pitch, of course, relates to the frequency of the sound. Then the other thing about sound is what you call volume or loudness. And that actually corresponds to the amplitude of the sound wave. And since sound being a wave transports energy as it propagates, the specific quantity that matters here is this thing we call intensity. Because if you have a sound source, it's going to spread out over time. And the further you get, typically the weaker or the less loud it is because all the energy, all this power coming out is being spread out thinner and thinner and thinner to bigger areas. So we calculate this thing called intensity, which is the power over area. And it is of course measured in watts per meter square. Human hearing is actually quite amazing. We can safely perceive sound all the way from 10 to the minus 12 watts per meter square, all the way up to 10 to the zero, which is one watt per meter square, where we start to feel pain. So somehow our ear can perceive and sort out this quantity that varies over 12 orders of magnitude. To add to it further, to compute, I guess this huge variation in intensity, our brains and our hearing system has actually evolved to use a logarithmic scale. So to fit that better, we have this thing called the loudness level, which is measured in this unit called a decibel based on a log base 10. You take your intensity and you divide by this 10 to the minus 12 watts per meter square just to have some kind of reference point and we chose the smallest possible sound we can perceive such that the smallest sound has zero decibel. Which highlights something about physical model here I like to just quickly point out is that on this side here with the intensity you have things that are easy to measure. You can pretty easily figure out how much power hits a certain area but that is not very meaningful as opposed to the loudness level which has to go through this weird mathematical transformation but it's easy to interpret it corresponds well to what our hearing system is evolved to do in the sense that if you have a 30 decibel sound and a 60 decibel sound the 60s sound roughly twice as loud as the 30, even though the actual intensity is actually a thousand times bigger. So having studied the system and using the appropriate math, we can actually relate things that are easy to measure and things that are easy to interpret and are meaningful. Let's get used to working with the scale though. They gave us a decibel, they want watts per meter squared. Pretty straightforward, if you remember, how to deal with logs. To get rid of the log, we raise the other side to a particular power of that base. Multiplying that over, they're both base 10. So we simply add the exponent, or you can just use your calculator. And putting in scientific notation, we get that. So a quick reminder in case you haven't used logs for quite some time, but the relationship between the loudness level and the intensity is through this formula using the logarithm.